Hey guys, it's Beauty Fit Desi. Welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I'm here to share with you some super important information about how you can track your macros and calories on an app called MyFitnessPal, which pretty much means like you don't need a personal trainer, you don't need anyone to tell you how to eat anymore. Like I'm literally spoon feeding you like the whole business and also thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel thus far you guys got me to my goal of 500 subscribers i am so excited about that you know like my channel is growing it's so super new all right so to jump straight into my fitness pal right when I first started competing, I used my fitness pal for the first time to make sure that I was staying on top uh, on top of my diet. Guys, there's a difference between eating clean and eating healthy and eating to be lean and eating so that like you're actually losing weight, you're leaning out, you're gaining muscle. Like that takes strategy. You can't guess those result weight loss is not necessarily about like how much healthy stuff you can eat in one day it's about how much you're eating in one day that's why it's super important for you guys to know exactly how to track your macros how you can do this on your own guys like once you are aware of how to do this you're never gonna look at food the same most importantly guys like you're just gonna see more results so that's why i'm here guys today to help you with this because like i said it changed my life and once i thought of this video idea i was like i have to share this with you guys because like this is a gem right here so guys i'm going to have to say bye bye to you with my face i'm gonna screen record the rest of the video so that you guys can follow along with me as i go ahead and track my own personal meal plan i'm actually losing one percent of body fat per week that's my goal at the moment yeah just keep watching guys and i'll have the screen record pop up here Okay guys, so the first thing that you wanna do is download the My Fitness Pal app onto your phone. So if you see in my screen, this little blue icon with the Jumpman, that's what the app looks like. Once you download the app onto your phone, it'll ask you to create a profile for yourself with your name, your age, um, height, weight, all of that good personal information. This way the app can give you all the information based on your needs. When you download the app, you'll see the home page is filled with a bunch of resources like workout videos, articles, recipes, all kinds of stuff about the fitness lifestyle, the nutrition lifestyle, and it'll really help you to stay motivated. I want you guys to also note that this is not a sponsored video at all. If you see on the top of my app, the crown symbol, that means that I paid for the premiere edition of this app this is not free for me at all i still pay itunes but i'm telling you guys like this is so helpful so going into my menu guys i'm going to go straight into my goals and once i'm inside of my goals i can adjust my current weight i can change my goal weight i can change how much weight i would like to lose within a certain amount of time and all of that good stuff so what I'm going to do now is change my current weight because I did lose a couple of pounds. Yay! So I'm going to change that to 151 and this way the app can adjust everything for me. I changed uh, my current weight, my goal weight. Well, my goal weight is staying the same. I'm losing one pound of body fat per week. And my activity level, I did change this a little while ago because guys, we're not in the gym at the moment and we're like really doing like at home workouts. I changed my activity level to active as opposed to very active. That's very, very important because my fitness pal is going to take into consideration how much you work out. My my fitness pal is going to generate from here how much calories I should eat. It doesn't say it right here, but what we're going to do is go into our nutrition goals. So I'm going to click on calories, carbs, protein, and fat goals. At the top where it says calories, um, the app automatically adjusted my calories to 1690. So the app is telling me that for my age, for my height, and everything that I put in, all the information, this is how much calories I should be eating to lose one pound per week. So what we're going to do from here now, guys, this is for people who are trying to lean out specifically, but people who are trying to build muscle, you can still follow along and it'll still be helpful for, helpful for you. So you want to click on carbohydrates. So this whole scrolly situation is going to pop up. 
my my rule of thumb always is that you should have approximately one gram of protein per the body weight you want to be so for me i'm trying to be 140 so 140 in terms of protein is is enough so my carbs i'm going to bring way down because we're like already over our goal as you can see when i change the dial the updated calorie goal changes at the bottom so let's say let's see if i can say like 170 real fast the next thing that i'm going to do is dial down on my fats i'm going to bring my fats down to 50. so oh wow that's actually perfect so guys once i have my 1690 at the bottom which i do this is perfect i'm going to click the x button or not the x i'm going to click the check button and it says your meal goals um they're complete whatever so i'm going to click okay so from here we're going to go back and we're going to go back again and now on the bottom of the screen we're going to go to diary so now that you're in diary i'm going to go to the next day guys sorry that was like this is that was a um meal plan i was making for a client now i have like a clean screen so i'm going to start making my meal plan so at the top you see that it tells you the calories you have remaining so i have 1690 remaining because i didn't put anything in yet so for breakfast guys my yo my my food is so traditional it's so crazy so I'm going to have one cup of unsweetened almond milk. I'm going to have that with a scoop of, um, I'm going to have that with a scoop of protein powder. I'm going to have that with a third of a cup of oats. And I'm going to also have one tablespoon of sunflower seed butter. So we're going to save that for now. If I need to change something or manipulate something, I'll come back to that later. So we're going to go down to, I'm actually going to go down to snacks. Because what I'm trying to do right now is put in my staple foods that I have every day, no matter what, and they're just not going anywhere. So in snacks, I'm going to add a protein shake. So what you guys see here, I didn't explain that also. This is my history of foods that I eat all the time. That's why it's just down here in a list. But I'm going to show you guys how you can type in your food if it wasn't there. So I actually do have this new protein powder that I'm using. It's like a pea protein. So I'm going to type in pea. Um, you can type in the name of the food. You can type in like if it's you're just eating kale, you can just type kale. And my fitness pal has an extensive library of foods, guys. It's like they take everything in the supermarket and, and everything is in here. So more than likely, you can find what you are eating and if you do not see it on the list or if you don't really know the name of it, another thing that you can do, guys, I'm going to just go backspace. So there used to be like a button, guys, um, that allowed you to like scan your foods, but I don't see that. Oh, here it goes. Okay, wow. So you see this little scan bar on the side, guys? This, if you click that, this is what pops up. So it's like a barcode scanner. So this way, when you're in the supermarket, you can just take whatever food you're about to pick up, scan it, put it in, and it'll like, it'll just process all in here. And then you can just click it if that's what you want to have. And 99.9 .9 times, it's it works. Sometimes you'll try to um, use the skew option and it'll pull up something weird, like something that's not what you just scanned, but that's very rare. So I'm just going to go back to add foods and snacks and I'm going to type in P and I'm going to go to number of servings. I'm going to click that and then this dial button pops up. So when this dial pops up, I'm going to change it to two, click the check button. So now you can see that the, um, the information updated at the top, it's 48 grams of protein, four grams of fat and two grams of carbs. So I'm going to click the check button and that is there now in my snacks category so with the protein shake i'm going to add some bananas because we have so much bananas in my house so i'll put half of a banana i'm going to put one cup of almond milk which you guys can see is down here at the bottom it's in my um frequently used foods so i'm going to add one cup of almond breeze milk i'm also going to add some kale so i'm going to just type kale so two cups of raw chopped kale. Yep, that's perfect. So this is going to be, I'm sorry guys, I'm actually gonna change the amount for the banana. So I'm gonna click on the banana that I already have in the snack right here. And the banana pops up as a single unit. So I'm gonna go to number of servings and I'm going to 
um, switch the dial to one. Click the check button and click the check button at the top. So now it's registered as a protein shake with one whole banana, two cups of kale, one cup of almond milk, and two scoops of my protein powder. These are my staple foods. This is what I'm gonna eat definitely no matter what I cook. So I put these in first, guys, so that I can know how much room I have to add in other foods. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on the bar that says calories remaining. So once you click on that bar, your nutrition pops up. And if you have paid for the app, this is what you will see. You will be able to see your protein and how much you have acquired so far and how much you have left to reach your goal of 140. And the same for all of your macronutrients. It also does this for your fiber, your sugar, saturated fats, what else? And then, okay, so if you scroll down to the bottom, you guys will see that it also gives me my sodium, potassium, vitamin A, C, calcium, and iron. So my vitamin A, C, calcium, iron, all that stuff is full. You can actually click on the mineral and it'll also, you see how it says premium feature guys? So this is something that you have to pay for. It's telling me exactly what is giving me all of my nutrients. So my unsweetened almond milk is giving me 90% of my goal. So this is really helpful guys when you're trying to diet but you're still trying to be nutritious at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna click the X and we're gonna go back to our diary. So here I'm gonna start with my lunch and I'm gonna create a very lean meal. So I'm going to go to add foods. I'm going to type in the search bar seitan and you can see in my history, my favorite seitan is gonna pop up. I'm gonna use the traditional seitan, the Uptown Naturals. And I'm going to use two servings of that. So you can see it has 36 grams of protein in the two servings. With this, I'm gonna go scrolling down through my frequently paired foods. And I'm gonna click my barbecue sauce because I'm absolutely going to have my barbecue sauce with this, like it's not even an option. So I just click the check button and I'm back to my lunch. I'm gonna go back into my lunch and add foods and I'm gonna add Brussels sprouts. So you can see in my history, I've eaten this in the past. I have Trader Joe's frozen Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna click that. I'm having two servings of that, that's correct. So I'm gonna hit the check button. Now I'm gonna go guys back up to the bar where it says calories remaining and I'm going to check on my status of my foods now. So guys, as you can see, I'm almost at my protein goal. I only have 10 grams of protein left. I have 72 grams of carbs, which is excellent. And um, I still have 27 grams of fat. So I think what I'm going to do now, guys, is um, for dinner, I'm going to create some cauliflower gnocchi pasta. I bought it from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna, I shouldn't type in Trader Joe's. I should type in gnocchi. So I'm clicking on my Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi. I'm going to also add in olive oil because olive oil is what I'm going to be cooking the gnocchi in and that's gonna be my sauce. So for a, a typical dish, I'm probably going to use anywhere from like one to two tablespoons. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons, guys, so I can be extremely factual. But do you guys see how much fat two tablespoons of olive oil is? Like, it's kind of ridiculous, guys. So with my cauliflower gnocchi now, guys, I'm going to erase the olive oil and I'm going to have it in a red um, spaghetti sauce. So I'm going to type in spaghetti sauce. It's actually ragu, so let me type in ragu. I think it's ragu traditional spaghetti sauce. Yes, perfect. So this one, I'm gonna click that. And uh, serving size, it says it's 125 grams. Okay, so let's just use a serving size. So let's just click that. And now when I go to my calories remaining, look at how much fat I still have left. And look at how much carbs I have left. So I'm, I'm right on track, guys. So with my cauliflower gnocchi, I'm going to eat that with some veggie sausages. So I'm going to go into add food. I'm gonna type in tofurkey. And as you can see, Italian sausage tofurkey is in my recent history. So I'm gonna click check. And look guys, it says you hit your protein goal for the day. So that's wonderful. I'm gonna go into calories remaining again, see what's going on. I completely exceeded my protein for the day, guys. I can either go back into my app and I can take out um, some protein so that I go back to 140 
and you know keep adding in more carbs or guys I can leave this as is like I know I'm gonna click X and as you guys see I have 109 calories remaining which is excellent I have room to add in carbs I already added in my sauces I already added in all my condiments so um, at this point it's really just a matter of like what do I want to do one thing that I do know that my cauliflower gnocchi is missing is it's missing like a vegetable I'm not just gonna eat just the pasta and the sausage so I'm thinking of adding like spinach so I'm gonna go to add foods I'm gonna type in spinach and raw spinach pops up but I'm only gonna use like one cup guys because I don't really need a lot of it I just need a little bit of greenery in the dish to make it you know more wholesome so I'm gonna click the check button with that and that's really it guys like so I have the room I'm clicking on calories remaining again guys and you can see um, that I have 29 grams of carbs left so I'm gonna just click the X button I'm gonna go into snacks and I'm gonna add an apple the organic honey crisp apple is what I'm going to eat so I'm gonna click check what I can do now guys if I really wanted to lose additional weight or just make this process go by faster I could erase some of my protein where it says I have an extra 225 grams but guys protein is your friend like you want a high protein diet when it comes to leaning out guys I'm gonna leave this just like this so that's it guys that's it for um, me tracking all of this I'm gonna click the X and one other thing that you can do guys is um, you can scroll all the way down to this day and it also shows you your exercise and water intake but down at the bottom it says guys that you can complete your diary so when you complete your diary this is what pops up it says that if every day were like today you'd weigh 145 pounds in five weeks so now you have a goal to reach now you know exactly like okay if this is what i do every day this is where i'm going to be in five weeks okay guys so i know that that was a lot i know i was talking like so fast guys but it's just so much information that i'm trying to get to you guys really quickly let me just assure you that this video is not sponsored at all like my fitness pal under armor is not paying me they don't even probably know i exist right now or that i'm making this video but that doesn't matter to me i feel like this is genuine information that has changed my life and like once you guys do this like you're never gonna look at food the same again if you're going to use this information if you find this video helpful please let me know down in the comments below so i know like what videos you guys like and you know what you would like more information about so Subscribe to my channel guys as well so that um, you guys can know like when I update new videos and stuff. But yeah guys, that's all the time I have for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye!